In number 13, we're going to make use of inverse trig functions in order to solve for a missing angle. So in this case, we're trying to solve for whatever angle W is, whatever degrees that are. We're going to round here to the nearest degree. And you can see that I've got the tangent value of angle W. So if I would take whatever the opposite side is over the adjacent side, that's the tangent, right? Um, I would get a value of 1.1918. I don't really care about that value though. I want the angle measurement itself. So to undo the tangent of angle W, I'm going to take the arc tangent. That'll get me just W by itself, the measurement of that angle. But if I do it to one side, I've got to do it to the other side. So really I'm looking to find the arc tangent of 1.19 uh, 1, 8, which if I plug that into my calculator, because I certainly don't have it memorized, I get a value of 50.00109. And like I said, we're going to just round that to the nearest degree. So the angle that I'm trying to find here is 50 degrees. The reason it has to be 50 degrees is because a 50 degree angle is the only angle that has a tangent value of 1.1918.